Quint Images and Comfy UI can generate images with real, clean text baked right into them. No overlays, no hacks. It works in multiple languages and even supports cool styles like posters, UI, mockups, and more. Here are a few examples that I've generated using it. In this video, I'll show you exactly how to set up Quinn Images in Comfy UI, how it works, and why it's different from other models. So let's dive in. So let's go into the GitHub page of Quinn Images. As you can see, this is all the codes, the few examples, and everything else. Yes. So as you can see, it has been launched in Comfy UI. So now let's go to Comfy UI blog for more info. So as you can see, this is the Comfy UI blog, and you can see all the models and everything else right over here. So I'm going to show you the GGUF version because it will require low VRAM. So as you can see, you can download the safe tensor file, VAE, right over here. Then, so let me show you where to put this. Firstly, go to Models, then go to VAE. And just put it right over here. As you can see, right over here. Okay. Now go to the Splits file, then Text Encoder. Then, I have downloaded the FP8 Scaled 1 right over here, and I have put it in the Text Encoder file right over here. So now if you have more than 20 gigabyte of VRAM, then you can use the file above it. But uh, we are going to use the GGUF version because in this video, I'm going to use the 8 gigabyte VRAM RTX 4060 for all the examples. So I'm using the 4.0 GGUF and uh, put it in the models, diffusion models folder right over here, as you guys can see. So let me close this and show you a few examples that I've done. This is the workflow. You can download this workflow in the description down below on my Patreon page. Please join my Patreon page as well. It's free of cost. So as you can see, this is the create an image for cats sitting in a wooden floor and all you can think. So in this model, we have to describe everything we want. You need big, big prompts for details. So as you can see over here, load VAE, and over here, the unit model, the GGUF version that we just downloaded, and the load clip model. So if you're downloading the GGUF clip model, use the below one. If not, then use this and type QN image. If you can't find this, exit your Comfy UI. Then go to Comfy UI, portable folder, the main one. So let me show you guys here. Then go to update and update all three of them. So we need to update the config file so you can get that Quinn image right over there. Okay. And just restart your PC1 for safekeeping. Okay. There's no need for restart. Just restarting Comfy UI will do it. But still, so as you can see, this is the image that we got. It was pretty good. And now let's try another example, a robot. And I've given each robot a specific thing, like first robot to have a smooth white exterior with blue LEDs and everything. And uh, as you can see, it turns out to be very good. And as you can see, the second one has a rusty orange. And as you can see, right over here, rusty orange. The third one, black drone type. Okay, as you can see, there's a drone as well. The fourth one is a retro robot. So a retro robot with green. A fourth, a small digital drone. So hovering above, we can see that. And I'm using Euler. As you can see, the latent is 1,280. If you want, you can upscale the image as well. So over here, 415 seconds for the RTX, 4,060 with eight gigabyte of VRAM. So we can make this in low VRAM as well. So that's good. So this is another example. 
So I've just copied the prompt from this computer blog that I showed you earlier, just to see if the image is same or something. So it's pretty good. As you can see, the mochi bites written over there, it's good. Yeah, as you can see, this mochi bites and even this. So this image is pretty good. So let's check this one out as well. Let's do this. But the one problem in this is it cannot make realistic image that well. I think I'll show you an examples at the end of the video. So let's just first do this. So as you can see this, and this is the image that we got, that's good. As you can see, start, load, option, quit, everything is good. And this is the realistic one that I was telling you about. So we'll copy this prompt and just paste it right over here. We'll choose the same Euler and normal and 20 steps. That is it. So in this also, I've given a curly haired girl with mint chocolate cone. So as you can see, it looks good. A boy with red glasses holding the rainbow popsicle. Good. The calm girl with vanilla. Good. The boy, messy face with double scoop ice cream cone. That's also good. Okay. And the kite in front of them. That's good. So now let's change it to, let's try DPM. If it's better or worse, we'll just test it out. Okay. And uh, let me show you guys how much time it took. It took me around 481 seconds. So for eight gigabyte of VRAM, it's good, but not that good. So this is DPM++ and not good. So don't use it. I think UniPC will be better. So as you can see, it's the same prompt. Everything else is the same. So this is good. So I've tested out a few more things. So this is the Euler and normal, and this is UniPC. So pretty much the same thing, okay? You can, you guys can test it out. And in this, I've lowered the CFG for a bit more realistic look. First, it was like around 4.5, and I've done it to three for this one to get more realistic look. Okay, so guys, if you like this video, then like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. It would much appreciate. So I'll know that this type of video you guys liking. So thank you guys for watching. Peace.